Welcome back to another GT Homes exclusive. You might have heard about Canada's recent foreign buyer ban, which prevents non-Canadians from purchasing residential property in Canada for two years. Check out our previous video on the ban for an in-depth analysis of its regulations and what they mean for investors. Recently, the government announced several changes to the law that will make it more accommodating for newcomers to Canada. What are the new changes? Why was the ban altered? And what does it mean for those looking to invest in Canadian real estate? Let's dive into it. To kick things off, let's go over why the ban was modified. Officially called the Prohibition on the Purchase of Residential Property by Non-Canadians Act, this legislation came into effect in January 2023 with the goal of making homes more affordable for those living in Canada. Many weren't happy with the prohibition as they believed the ban was going against the country's multicultural values and the government's record-breaking immigration goals by limiting immigrants' ability to purchase a home. It wasn't long until the government listened to these growing concerns, and in March of 2023, they announced some key changes that would make the law more flexible for non-Canadian businesses and individuals looking to participate in Canada's real estate market. These amendments will make sure the country's housing will go into the hands of those looking to live here instead of being used as a speculative investments by foreign buyers. One of the amendments is that work permit holders have significantly fewer restrictions when buying a home. When the ban was first introduced, temporary residents not only had to have a valid work permit or authorization to purchase a property. They also had to file income tax and work in Canada full-time for at least three of the past four years. Now, purchasing real estate is much more accessible. Anyone with 183 days or more left on their work permit or work authorization can buy a house as long as they haven't already bought a residential property. Another major change is that the law no longer applies to vacant land, meaning foreign buyers cannot buy land and use it for any purpose. Before, the ban did not allow non-Canadians to buy vacant land if it was zoned for residential or mixed use. Foreign buyers are not able to purchase Canadian housing for development purposes, something that previously only publicly traded corporations could do. The CMHC defines development as evaluating, planning, redeveloping, and making alterations or improvements to a residential property or its land without changing the building's use. Simple modifications such as basic repairs, renovations, or remodeling do not count as the development of a property. When the ban first came into effect, a privately held company was considered non-Canadian if 3% or more was controlled by a foreign entity. This negatively affected the development industry by restricting developers' ability to construct residential projects. The rule was especially harsh on developers that were partially owned by non-Canadians and real estate investment trusts, also known as REITs. Now, the threshold for foreign control of private corporations and entities include REITs has been increased to 10%. What do these changes mean for investors? These amendments will provide Canadians with excellent growth opportunities by letting non-Canadians redevelop existing buildings and develop new homes. The government is allowing foreign investors to help Canada build its much-needed housing. That's Canada states the population will grow between 6.7 to 35.8 million by 2068, creating an urgent need for new homes. Unfortunately, Canada has an extremely low supply. The CMHC states that we will need over 22 million residential properties by 2030, but our current building practices will only produce 2.3 million units by then. You, as a savvy investor, can take advantage of the upcoming population and development boom by investing in pre-construction today and enjoying the perks of the hot real estate market for decades to come. At GTA Homes, our team of planning agents will be happy to help you better understand Canada's housing market and how to invest in pre-construction. Reach out and register with us today to stay on top of Canada's real estate news. Thank you for watching another GT Homes exclusive. Remember to subscribe and to visit us at gta-homes.com.